This is Alexis Samsonovich, and my talk is on a general believable model of human analogous intelligent social emotional behavior. The bottom line here is that when you look in a mirror, you do not want to see a picture like this. Therefore, we need human analogous AGI, and therefore, we need emotional, biologically inspired cognitive architectures. A cognitive architecture of a general kind may be described by this diagram where each box represents a memory system. Depending on how many boxes are implemented, uh, the architecture finds its place in this hierarchy. Remarkably, most popular models of machine learning today are located on the second level of this hierarchy. This is the essence of our approach. Uh, implemented in the e-biker cognitive architecture, which combines uh, two mechanisms of reasoning, emotional and rational or traditional. And furthermore, the emotional part includes two parts on its own. The key building blocks of our approach are moral schemas and weak semantic maps. A moral schema is a construct based on the principle that a certain situation in the world is declared normal and whatever the system can do, it tries to achieve or restore this normality. This is done by uh, modification of probabilities of action selection based on uh, specific equations and using uh, values uh, of uh, emotional appraisals and somatic markers attributed to uh, attributed to every element uh, every representation in the working memory uh, these uh, diagrams show the logical scheme of operation of the biker cognitive architecture uh, the diagram on the right top shows uh, two parallel threads, including the uh, somatic information processing and appraisal processing, uh, both interacting with the moral schema that eventually determine the bias in decision-making and behavioral choice, and also involuntary reaction expressing emotional state of the agent. Uh, the moral schema itself undergoes a certain life cycle starting from its instantiation to normal operation, then possibly conflict resolution, and other stages up to its possible elimination uh, from the working memory. Uh, these principles were implemented in a number of our prototypes, one of which was an NPC in a video game. Uh, another paradigm was called virtual listener, uh, we also use the virtual pet, virtual dance partner, and more. Um, in this paradigm of NPC in a video game, uh, the game partner was based on the Sibaika framework, and uh, a human player had to establish certain relationships with it in order to win the game. Uh, when we did the experiments, we studied emotional dynamics of the human, trying to <coughs> verify the model whether it correctly describes those dynamics. For that, we used electrodes uh, to record EMG. We also uh, recorded facial expression and analyzed using a specific software. Uh, the paradigm of a virtual listener is based on a virtual bot uh, reacting emotionally to the story that a human participant tells. Uh, the story is pre-annotated, uh, including uh, sentiment analysis and other analysis of uh, semantics of the story. Also, the facial expression of the human is received uh, by, the, by the software, and uh, the bot has to decide what facial expression to take in reaction to the story and to the human behavior. Uh, as a basis 
for other paradigms, this particular model proved to be very useful. And so from here we can uh, naturally extend it to a, a virtual interlocutor or to a virtual pet, a virtual dance partner or, or any kind of virtual assistant. We did those experiments using VR helmets as well when you can interact with the virtual pet in in virtual reality world or you can dance physically with a virtual dance partner. Uh, now our ambition is to host the eBike at 2020 conference in a virtual environment populated with emotionally intelligent virtual actors. You are cordially invited to take part in it and to publish a paper in our proceedings. The deadline will be extended. Please note this URL on the right. Um, to give you a preview, here is a screenshot of a part of the lobby of this virtual environment. And uh, to begin uh, the, the journey, every participant has to register at the registration desk. Then you come, for example, to the plenary session hall, where a talk may look like this. The speaker stands at the podium and uses laser pointer. All these are avatars, of course. Uh, then after the talk, you go to, to the coffee break area and have informal conversations with other participants. From there, you may proceed to the poster session area, where posters can be presented by bots on demand. Uh, what about our future plans? We are extending this learning environment, this uh, virtual conference environment, uh, to uh, to a learning environment to be used in uh, distance learning, where participant can interact with intelligent bots. Here we have to return to a long time known uh, models and implementations like AutoTutor, like MetaTutor, like Betty's Brain and so on. Uh, today they are still alive and uh, popular, I should say, and we are planning to implement uh, some of those principles and use virtual act actors uh, with socially emotional interaction with students uh, in order to facilitate the learning process. So why, why this is important? Because by doing this, we will understand how students learn. They not only uh, just accumulate knowledge, they use motivation, emotions, uh, goal setting, uh, they use active experimentation and so on. And uh, this is what a machine needs to do in order to, to be able to learn like a human, in order to achieve autonomous, scalable learning in real life. So uh, here is the fork for the future on this uh, so to speak, cognitive map, we can go either left or right, and it depends on which approach do we choose at this moment. Thank you.